Bed bugs are annoying insects that hide in soft, warm places like beds, couches, and clothing. These bugs feed on their hosts at night, leaving small bite marks that, though rarely dangerous, should be treated right away to prevent unwanted symptoms and potential allergic reactions. To prevent more bites in the future, you'll need to get rid of your bed bug infestation completely. How to treat bed bug bites. Welcome to my channel. Here, we talk about gardening tips and pest control methods like this. So you're here for the first time. Maybe it's a good idea to subscribe. Also, click the bell icon so that you receive notifications on my new upload. Part 1. Identifying a bed bug bite. 1. Inspect the bites carefully. Bed bug bites commonly resemble other insect bites, including mosquito bites. They typically involve a raised, reddish bump but can also appear as a blister. Bed bug bites are very difficult to distinguish from other insect bites. Even a clinical physician cannot usually diagnose bites simply by looking at them. Bed bugs do, however, have a unique bite pattern. Although some bites may appear alone, most bites occur in a row of three to five bites, termed breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or in a cluster of red bumps, a rash called bedbug dermatitis. The bites often appear in a zigzag formation, but may appear in a straight line if the bugs bite you in the morning. Bites tend to occur on exposed areas of the body. Studies show that they have a preference of biting the skin around the eyelids and such areas as the neck, face, feet, and arms. In contrast to mosquito bites, bed bug bites rarely occur on the back of the knees or in the folds of the skin. The bumps or the rash typically resolve themselves within one to two weeks. However, although an individual bite or set of bites may heal, if you have not eradicated the problem through pest extermination, then you may continue to get bitten. As long as there are bed bugs, they will try to get at you. 2. Pay attention to the bites occur. Pay attention to when the bites occur. Consider, for example, if you notice the bites after waking up when previously you hadn't noticed them. However, this can also be difficult to determine because each person's reaction time can vary significantly. Symptoms that result from the bite can manifest at any point from a couple of hours to more than a week after the bite occurred. Bed bug bites can have a long incubation period. Visible signs of the bite, a red, itchy bump, can appear up to 10 days after you were initially bitten. 3. Check bed bugs signs in your home. Check your home for signs of bed bugs. Start with where you sleep. Bed bugs want to be where people are so they can get the warm blood of humans. A telling sign is red spots on the sheets. These may come from a bed bug that was squashed after feeding or from the bites left on you when the bug finished feeding on you. Inspect your entire mattress, including the lining and seams. Look for sleeping bed bugs, carcasses, empty skins, their exoskeletons, and feces, this will look like little black spots or smudges. Check your sheets, pillowcases, and pillows as well. It is very difficult to see and catch a living bed bug. They are tiny brownish insects with broad, oval-shaped bodies. Are very good at hiding. However, finding a bed bug is the only way to confirm that that is indeed what bit you. 4. Visit your doctor. You can also see a doctor for diagnosis if you do not find signs of bed bugs in your bed and cannot identify the source of the bites or rash. However, there is a very good chance that your physician will not be able to firmly diagnose that you have been bitten by a bed bug because the symptoms look so similar to those that result from other insect bites and skin conditions. Nevertheless, you may feel comforted by going to see your doctor, who can confirm for you that bed bugs pose little physical threat to humans. Your doctor may prescribe a topical corticosteroid ointment to help relieve itching and inflammation. These ointments are stronger than the ones you can buy over the counter. 5. Call an exterminator. This is the surest way to confirm that you have been bitten by a bed bug. An exterminator will search your home and be able to confirm whether or not you have an infestation on your hands. An exterminator will know what to look for and can also then treat your home to remove the bed bugs and prevent future bites from occurring. Home foggers and in bug sprays will not usually kill a bed bug infestation. To make sure you 
Part 2. Treating Bed Bug Bites. 1. Wash with soap and water. Wash the bites with soap and water. Wash the area with mild soap and water. Use a bar of soap and enough water to wet surface of your hands. Work the soap in your hands into thick, soapy lather. Rub the lather over the affected area liberally. Repeat until the entire area is covered. Leave on and do not rinse. Allow the soap lather to dry over the bitten areas. You should experience immediate relief from itching. Washing the bites with soapy water can help alleviate itchiness and prevent a skin infection. 2. Relieve itching with home remedies. Use home remedies to relieve itching. You can try a number of the following remedies to relieve the itching associated with the bites. These all use products you probably already have on hand. Make a paste of baking soda and water. Slowly add small amounts of water to the baking soda and stir until you have a thick paste. Apply a thick coat of the paste to your bed bug bites. Allow the paste to dry and stay on the rash for an hour or more before washing it off with warm water. Saturate a cotton ball with lemon juice, St. John's wort or witch hazel, all of which are natural astringents. Dab at the rash with the cotton ball to help dry it out and control the itch. Apply the gel from an aloe plant to bed bug bites. Use pure 100% aloe vera gel. Aloe contains both antibiotic and antifungal properties, which clear up within the natural course of a bed bug bite, one to two weeks. You should also see a doctor for treatment if you have any of the following. Bed bug bites, like all insect bites, can become infected through excessive scratching, as underneath the fingernails lies a host of bacterial pathogens. If your bites become infected, they will appear red and swollen, feel tender and may drain pus. Typically there will not be a fever unless a substantial area of the skin is involved. If you experience any of these symptoms, you must seek medical attention as it points to a secondary infection. Your physician may prescribe antibiotic therapy or, if the infection is mild, an antiseptic medication that you can buy without a prescription. 
If you experience a severe allergic reaction, your doctor may want to give you an injection of an antihistamine, corticosteroid, or epinephrine, adrenaline. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update from Guardian's Choice Official.